Hi guys, my name is Nano Vishwas. Welcome to my YouTube channel Technical Nano. And today I will give you the pros and cons of Samsung Galaxy J7 Max. So guys, let's get started. But before I get start my video, please subscribe my channel if you not subscribed till now, and please like, share, and comment below. So guys, here's the J7 Max. You can see. Okay. First of all, give me the overview of this um, uh, J7 Max. First of all, on the top you have nothing. On the right side you have the lock key and the speaker. On the bottom, so on the bottom you have the uh, USB data syncing and data charging port and uh, some mic, one mic and 3.5 mm headphone jack. Okay, let me focus you. Focus. Yes, you can see. Okay, on the left side you have the volume up and down key, some uh, SIM ejector tool. Mm. Sorry, SIM ejection. You can uh, add fast SIM in this and uh, second SIM and a uh, micro SD card in this. Okay, on the uh, back side you have the 13 megapixel uh, f 1.7 aperture um, lens with LED flash and some some Samsung, uh, Samsung logo with a metal finish. On the top you have the 13 megapixel f 1.9 aperture. Uh, lens with some mic, uh, some sensors, LED flash, uh, fingerprint scanner and home, home key and back key and recent key. So guys, let's get straight into the pros. What am I like in this uh, J7 Max? Okay, J7 Max is a pretty cool and a pretty um, amazing phone in under 20,000 rupees. So guys, this is the worth uh, RS uh, is around uh, 17,900. So uh, first of all, there's a uh, first. I will give you five um, uh, pros. So, on the to uh, first of all, I love this um, Samsung. Uh, what are you telling the uh, fingerprint scanner? You can see. Okay, pretty fast. Okay, this is pretty fast. And second of all, the uh, second pros is the uh, camera. The 13 megapixel f 1.7 aperture camera. It can gives you a brighter and brightest photo even in the low light and the daylight. So, and the third pros is the uh, smart glow features. Yes, I laugh about it because uh, this is the pretty cool features in today's generation. And the fourth pros is my opinion is the LED flash and the 13 megapixel front f 1.9 aperture camera this is pretty cool you can take a pretty cool um, selfie stick uh, selfie uh, in this um, from this uh, jessamine max okay and the last of all this is a 4 gb and 32 gb mediatek chipset yes you can easily run uh, the pretty high graphics uh, uh, game or anything in this jessamine max you can uh, easily uh, give uh, any high graphics game with uh, no doubt it is uh, um, it has the 4 GB RAM and 32 GB inbuilt with MediaTek processors I told it uh, before so it's a very pretty good uh, devices under uh, 18,000 rupees so let's get straight into the cons so there's a lot of not lot of cons but my opinion uh, I am the users I uses this uh, J7 Max around uh, seven, uh, three months so yeah so there's I hope the two cons in this mobile so just the first cons is there's has no NFC so I don't know why Samsung don't give uh, the NFC uh, in this uh, 17,000 uh, um, or around 18,000 rupees uh, handset so yeah, it has Samsung Pay Mini, but um, I, under uh, yeah, 20,000 rupees, there is no, no lot of uh, 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 mobile or handset that has the NFC. So, this is the first cons of Samsung Galaxy J7 Max. And there's the second cons, in my opinion, that's the MediaTek, uh, MediaTek chipset. Why Samsung gives the MediaTek chipset? They, I, I know that uh, MediaTek chipset is pretty cool pretty awesome uh, super fast but uh, in my opinion this under 20,000 rupees Samsung wants to keep the snapdragon uh, chipset in this mobile so that's the pros and cons of Samsung Galaxy J7 Max so guys if you like my video please like comment share and please don't forget to subscribe stay tuned stay supporting so uh, I will give you this type of video every week thanks for watching bye